Okay, so now we are going to bootstrap the scatter diagram. There's my original sample, right? There is bootstrap sample number one. You notice that it's very similar but a little thinner, right? Why is it a little thinner? Because yeah, some, some points don't appear, some points get repeated, and you can't see the repeats because they're on top of each other. Uh, and there's sample number two, sample number three, sample number four. I've stopped, but you can see that you have sort of re repetitions of the same thing, minor variations of the same thing. And so I stopped at four, but you could do 10,000 of these. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. For every one, you get a prediction. And so I will show you, um, okay. Let me uh, just take you through. The key item here is what we are going to do four times is we are going to make a um, bootstrap sample, we're going to put a line through it, and we're going to find where that line is at 300. Right? Then we're going to do that again and again and again, four times. So the key here is this line. We're doing four times a resampling. We take the table births, dot sample with no input, bootstraps the sample. That is, it takes the table, it takes a random sample of the same size as the table with replacement. Right? And because we bootstrap so often in this class, that's the one where you type least. <laughs> right? So now once you've got that, then you find the regression slope. This is using the slope function that we wrote earlier. And you find the intercept and then you draw your line. So let me just show you what happens here. Okay. We bootstrap the scatter diagram four times. We got four different lines. At every line, there is a prediction at 300. Yeah? So we have four predictions. You agree we could do, have done this 400 times? Mm -hmm. Or 4,000 or whatever? Okay, so we will write a function that takes a table, the x variable, the y variable, the value of, so in our case, the table is called births. The x variable is gestational days. The y variable is birth weight. Mu x is 300, 300 days. And this is the number of lines I'm going to draw, right? So uh, by default, it does 2,500 lines. So I'm going to get 2,500 bootstrap scatter diagrams, 2,500 lines, 2,500 estimates. Okay. okay, so I define this function and then I run it. And it chugs for a while. When you see the star there, uh, it's thinking. And it's all done thinking. And look, this is a distribution of all of those 2,500 predictions. OK? Uh, do you see what's near the center? I think we're getting that because we're getting the error. We're getting the error. No, we get the histogram, but not the line. Let's see. Okay, so you get a long blur. You get the long blur. But you don't get my nice yellow line.